Hey, what's going up everybody? Welcome to a triple review. Today we're going to be taking a look at three next gens that I got today. And I'm almost done graduating, so these are my graduation rewards. Let's go ahead and start off with the Transberry Juice Racer, Bubba Wheelhouse. As you can see, he's missing the number six here. He, he should have had the number six here, but I think this is a factory custom, but he does have a number six on his hood so that we know what number he is. And I kind of like this guy. He's actually voiced by NASCAR racer Daryl Wall Wallace or Bubba Wallace. Yeah. And he replaces the previous Transferry Juice Racer, Marcus Krangsler. I do not have Marcus Krangsler in my collection. But this is actually my first ever Transberry Juice Racer in my collection. He kind of looks like he has the same tail lights as Jackson Storm, even though he is different than Jackson Storm because different, um, different personality and diff, different body design. This has got to be one of the best. Um, this has got to be one of the best factory customs I've ever seen. This one is that takes a piece of cake. My only con about this one is that it's missing the number six on both sides, on which it should have had. Overall, this card gets a 8 out of 10. Now let's go on to Chris Roman. And I gotta say, this has to be one of the worst factory customs I've ever seen in my entire life. First of all, you can actually see that his eyes are very, very ugly. Look at it. Look at it. Just look at it. That thing is so ugly. What the hell is that? That definitely does not look like Chris Roman. I was originally going to get the Thailand version, but it was pretty much expensive. So this one is probably going to be my best I can get. Anyways, Chris Roman replaces the veteran combustor racer, Chip Gearings. And I do have Chip Gearings in my collection. Probably going to have to do a review on him soon after sooner he does not have the rookie stripes on his back which is a disappointment i'm assuming they they actually did it off the disney story version which didn't have the rookie stripes but did have the same type of eye expression and this one is pretty much a mess spoiler is not accurate to the movie this one has to be one of the worst factory customs i've ever seen And last up, we're going on to Nick Shift. And my only con about this one is that they mis mislabeled his sponsor from Spearmint to Sparmint, meaning that he's missing the E in Spare. Yeah. I think they got his color right. That's all I can say. It's not that muddy this, this time around. Um, Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy all are crisp despite looking purple. 93 does look a lot better. They actually missed the opportunity of putting the gas cap right where it goes. Um, he does have the rookie stripes on like with Chris Roman, but it but with Bubba Wheelhouse. This one does this one does improve. This one has to be one of the better um, factory customs. It does especially with the color being accurate to the movie. And yeah, does it have like, does it say light year on the tires? Yeah, it does. Overall, I give Nick Shift a nine out of 10. Chris Roman gets a five out of 10. Anyways, that's all the cars I have for you today. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time. Take care.